within 24 hours, I went from being in New York City taking my financial accounting exam to then the next day at the same time standing outside of the Tunnel Overlook looking out at Yosemite Valley with Kevin Jorgensen into the future of everything that I want to be doing. We decided to climb the Lost Arrow Spire. It's crazy, uh, the Lost Arrow Spire is such an iconic feature in Yosemite and I've seen books of black and white photos of this feature and I've seen it since I began climbing and it's always been this iconic summit. I think was first established in 1947 by John Salathay. We hiked up Yosemite Upper Falls Trail. The whole way up is super scenic. Um, it's also about a three hour hike, so it's, it's no joke. We definitely felt like we were doing some fitness training. Then by the time that we got to the top, we were pelled down into this notch and you get onto this ledge. That's where the real business of the climb starts. It's pretty cool that we're like the only three people in this spot in all of this right now. You know, we're the yeah. only ones with this view. So from the ledge, Kevin took the first lead on the 511. This was really neat for me to see him kind of navigating how to get up this climb. It's, it was his first time up the Lost Arrow Spire as well. He climbed to the left and then followed this seam then over a little bulge. Woo! That's fucking cool. Sasha, I'm off belay. Ba boom. It's amazing to me to think back to over 50 years ago and what people were doing and how they were climbing this because even with today's modern equipment, it's still really difficult. So I can't even imagine climbing it in like big boots and kind of like super sketchy gear. Wow, amazing rock climb. Yeah. Once I got to where Kevin was, which was kind of hanging in free space, he was like, okay, so I think it's best that you take the lead from here. <laughs> and it's kind of like, I guess, out of the car seat and into the driver's seat. Starting out, you climb through this really technical granite crimper slab. You're thousands of feet up over the ground and you're so minute compared to everything around you. And as you make your way up past the slab, you get into this bulge and this is where it gets quite difficult. Hard? <laughs> you, you're climbing up through this stem-like formation and balancing between your left foot on one side and your right foot on the other. And then you reach up into blind space and you're feeling for this sloper. There's just nothing really to grab onto. I think what was really unique about this climb was that you isolate out everything else going on and you find this spot of complete independence and this feeling of being alone and focusing on the exact movement that you have to do. Because if you aren't in tune with the movement, it's kind of impossible to climb this sequence. That was hard! Good job. Thanks! So once I pulled over this mantle, it was kind of like this easier scramble to the top. When you're standing on the, the tip of the needle, you can't help but throw your arms up and be like, I'm the king of the world, <laughs> or queen of the world. And then when Kevin and I made it to the top, we are the only ones standing in this exact iconic location as John Salathay stood over 50 years ago. So in order to get off, we need to take a Tyrolean. It is so exposed, but I think I triple checked my harness to make sure it was on and, and secure. Uh, and you just kind of lower yourself down into that rope so that you're swinging over thousands of feet in free air.
Oh my god, how is that thing standing? You look back out to the spire and think we were just there. And now we're gonna go down at night and that spire is just gonna be there standing alone at night with no one on it. Proudly there. <laughs>